Get ready, rushers. I'm sitting here in studio with not one, not two, not three, but all four members of the insanely popular band <laughs> Big Time cool. Rush yeah. <laughs> and stars of the hit Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon show, also named Big Time Rush. James Maslow, great to have you back. And of course, Kendall Schmidt, Carlos Pena, and Logan Henderson. Welcome, gentlemen, to HuffPost Live. Hello, Thank hello. You. This there is a nice little are, area that we're sitting in here. I'm, I'm happy you're enjoying it. I think it's the first time that we've had this setup with, with four people. But, oh, you know, right. I feel you know, special. We are, we are more make... than happy to accommodate this group. I can tell we'll you. We'll make four of us sit on one couch most of the time, so we appreciate this. It's actually more roomy than usual. Right. Or one motorcycle, like last week's episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see that one. <laughs> Do people think that there's actually coffee in these cups? Or, like, it's actually, every time water, I watch one of these, I'm like, are they drinking a latte right now? It's no, I feel like they were water. really. They were. Did they want us to share those? Because we're, we're drinking a latte of water. <laughs> oh no, Logan <laughs> Kendall, you guys. Just oh, thank you, man. It's a community <laughs> water. We'll all that was share. a fail on our part, but no, it's okay. That's okay. Your own personal yeah, discretion. Yeah, no, we're good. So I have to play a clip uh, right now of of the show on Nickelodeon. Obviously, it's not from the new season. We're actually going to be selling those really soon. We're going to yeah. have all those uh, on ready tour. To, actually, on you tour, can buy yeah. some horse shampoo. <laughs> really <laughs> scrubbers, horse shampoo. Really fun. <laughs> Watch that. They're actually really big sponsors. <laughs> Does that uh, bring back some memories? It does. Yes, it does. That was uh, fun. I don't know if it. Yeah, it yeah. does. It's crazy. Like one episode takes, I think, what, like 60 hours a week or more, right? or more, just to shoot, and then it's done in 21 minutes. That's that's a whole week like of that. my life. It's gone in 21 minutes. Well, sometimes so, I'm sorry. Load of horse shampoo right there. Yeah. Or <laughs> well, like sometimes people be like, you remember uh, in that one episode when when you did that, and you're like, that is just I, one big out, episode of my like, life yeah, called Big Time Rush. Exactly you well, because I'm sure things get cut all the time. They all run together. Yeah. The, you know the final edit. Yeah. But so right now, you guys have been filming the fourth season. Everyone is dying to watch it. Uh, yeah. When do we know that it's coming out? Very soon, right? It's starting to premiere. Very soon. soon. We're trying to find the best date because uh, this season, um, as Scott Fellows, our creator, says, he uh, felt like third season, like first and second, was, you know, it had the bar pierce. Third was a little under. Well, since we were a little under, he wants to go like five notches above that for fourth season. And we definitely are. And we, been we also want to make sure that we can play episodes consecutively. We want everyone to not have to wait weeks on end in between episodes. So we're trying to wait so we can lay And time out. it well with our next album. Yeah. So that'll be... All right, well, so first, can you give us any juicy gossip as to what we can expect oh, in, this, in this next oh, season? Well, we've well, got a few great guest stars. You know, we did, uh, to name a couple that we've actually talked about already, we have right. did an episode with Cher Lloyd, which is awesome. She was a, a great sport about being goofy with us and great actress, too, for her first time doing something on TV. Nice. Gavin Didn't McGraw. get to meet her. <clears throat> you know what's funny about Gavin DeGraw? I actually did a scene with Gavin DeGraw and never met him. But we I did. did. <laughs> I did, and I was not even in the scene. We weren't in the scene. How did he you was in and out. He's a man around well, town. Well, he was in the dressing room, and me <laughs> yeah. and Carlos walked by, and we were like, might as well meet him right now. Like, we weren't in the scene with him, so we were like, might as well say hi. And he, we talked for like 10 minutes, oh, and then such I, I found out later these guys didn't Well, because they, they filmed his side first, and they just used second teams. They just told me, hey, hang in the dressing room. We'll, we'll be out in you know 20 minutes and go to your side. And I guess they shot it completely clean, so it means no shoulder or anything. So on the turnaround, by the time I got there, he was completely gone. All lies. That sucks. What a bummer, right? You thought you were I hear he was nice, though. Gavin so, Gavin, Gavin thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, Gavin. All right, what about, I mean, come on, any other names that you haven't spoken about yet? Um, or that we can speak about? Mm, mm, I don't know. Or that you can speak well, about? Well, you know what? Fine. How about this? This is not really a, a guest star, but last week um, on Friday, we did shoot a Harlem Shake video that no, yeah. is, is being edited right now. Yes, um, being sure. taken care of. On set, which was awesome, had the green screen up. Um, the entire crew was in there. A bunch of the cast members were in there. Except for Steven Glickman, who um, <laughs> didn't show up. I don't know where you were, Steven. It was his really, idea. Really upset. Yeah. It was, it was his, his idea. idea. And we told him to come on set five minutes. And well, thanks he has the a, idea, friend. He has yeah. a problem with being late. So we said five minutes. It's happening because it costs like you know hundreds of dollars a minute to film the show. Like when you're not doing something productive. And how much is it really? Did we figure it out? It was well, it like $6 like a how second. How crew you have, right? right. Yeah. These, are, right. these are salaries that you're talking yeah. about. Okay, so you heard it here first. Home Shake video. It's coming we'll soon. On the it's coming. Pretty goofy. Too. Very soon. Um, you guys are also nominated for a Kids' Choice what? Award. What? And so is this yeah. guy. Seriously? Yes. Guy. And Carlos. Um, it's cool. You know, um, I think for all of us, it was definitely a dream come true the first year to just be a part of the Kids' Choice Awards. Because right. we grew up watching it mm -hmm. with... Um, who are the two little twins? Uh, uh, Mary Kate and Ashley. Like back in the day when they were doing that. So right. for us to be a part of it and presenting and stuff. And last and year was cool because we won Best uh, New Music Group, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that was cool to win that. And we're nominated for the same award this year. And Carlos is nominated for Favorite Actor. That helmet paid off. That's all I have to say. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the helmet paid off. Well, not only acting, we actually have um, some questions for you from the viewers too because, Carlos, I know you're going to be taking up some directing. This one comes from Rusher244. 
Oh, hello. Wow. Quite the number there. <laughs> hello, Question hello, 244 Since you either have already been the director on an episode or going to be, what do you think is or is going to be the hardest part of directing? Much well, longer. I have not directed yet. Um, we have two more episodes, and then it is my big time rush directorial debut. Have you started um, planning it? Yet? Have you oh, oh, I've been going, <laughs> like, literally going to every single uh, uh, you know, meeting Production. Yeah, that I'm not in just so I can kind of get a feel. But um, I don't know. These guys are awesome. They're not going to give me too, too much trouble, right? We'd October. like to get out at a, at a decent time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm leaving on Friday at five, 5 o'clock. So, so if you want to make it easy for us, yeah. uh, just you know. Well, so no pranks planned for when well, he's actually going to be directing. Well, oh, there, there will be. Say that. Oh, no, yeah, I, I don't be. expect it to be easy on you at all, by the way. <laughs> he's be like, action, Carlos. So listen, it may be easier <laughs> because the way I see it is that me as the actor, I've been in that position and I've kind of watched how the director works. So I know things that the director could do to make the actors happy and make things go a little bit more smoothly, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, yeah. I agree That's with you. What I think we're going actors with. sometimes can become the best directors because they understand ideally both sides. They know the acting side, and if you get the directing side under, you know, under your belt, then you really do understand both worlds. And like he's saying, it's easier right. to, to deal with the tons of people you have to deal with as a director. You need to deal with the executive producers and the actors and the writers and make it all come together. And you'd be able to see it finished, too. So that's, I mean, like, it's one thing to be in it as an actor and be like, okay, here's the scenes, and okay, cool, but he's going to be there for... Editing and he's going to be there for the music scoring and everything. Well, every step I of the way, it really begins your baby. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. And to, to uh, tie this into the album, uh, one of the songs that I'm doing is one that Kendall wrote that's going to be on the album, which we're super excited about. So uh, that's you know what it, that it, is very. It cool. all kind of ties in now. Segue to album number. We well, we can three. talk about the album. We can talk Whoa. about the tour. That's the thing. I mean, you guys are definitely uh, you're a very busy bunch, and so. When can we expect the album to come out? Sometime you tell me. Summer, right? I'm just, <laughs> well, just taking a guess. Are we still like releasing to think that thing? Before that... the summer, maybe a little before, maybe early summer, because we are planning a tour right now, <laughs> and hopefully the album will be out so our fans can learn the music and sing along when they come see the show. All right. What about leaking music too? I mean, I've got a uh, I've got a tweet here from you, Logan. It says, "Hate to see the hard work I've spent to this time uh, making new music get leaked." Sucks when people yeah. steal stuff. I was yeah, I was, that 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 I was upset that day. I was upset that day. We had one of the songs that me and Kendall wrote. You know what? People one. are really talented at, at getting into things on the computer. And I don't know, for me, it's kind of an interesting topic. <laughs> Hackers. Hackers <laughs> uh, are really great at that. And I, I don't know, I, I've ne I grew up not knowing not to steal things from people. That's just the thing that... And privacy is huge for yeah. me. And I think it wasn't a finished product, so it kind of, you know, it sucks whenever that kind of stuff gets leaked. And, and then they're like, well, why wasn't Logan you? and Carlos on it? It's like, well, because it was a demo that we wrote. Yeah, you know, like it wasn't they even were, a finished song, yeah, so... so. Uh, it happens. You know. it ha well, maybe you guys just aren't that good with your passwords, too. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, you know what's funny? His he email he can't is even actually spelled email right. incorrectly. He can't even spell he can't his email spell, right. So he probably, you know, yeah. How is it? We're working on it. We're working yeah. on it. You'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. All right, so the album is coming out. I mean, w what's different about this album, too? You know, it's going to be... Everything, I feel like. It's going to be your third. Third album. Sound changed, how it's um, developed. Well, you know what? Last album was, was, was really targeted towards finding that cool radio song. Yeah. And, and we tried really hard and worked with, with, you know, huge producers. And we did the same this year, but we kind of went with the vibe that, you know, what's, what's going to be great on the show and what are the kids going to just want to jump around to? And um, I think that made it a lot easier and less stressful. It was more fun. It was more with the idea of just writing a great pop song and letting the fans discover which everyone they think should be a single. So we're really leaving it in our fans' hands to pick their favorite songs and see if they want to push that to radio versus us saying, oh, this is the one, this is the hit, because music is entirely subjective. Right. And at this point, we've worked with all sorts of fun people. We're with Ryan Tedder, and we've had, we've had a lot of those songs that were really cool, like Music Sounds Better, that kind of takes those, you know, Daft Punk samples, and we've kind of played around with all sorts of pop, and so I think this one, this one was a little bit different, just the way that we wanted to kind of present it and carry ourselves. It's kind of funny. I don't think any of us ever thought that we'd do like an, an R and B song with Snoop Dogg. Right. Like so, we did right. that. We did it. We've done that. We've done, <laughs> did that. Yeah. We've done full, <laughs> right. full dance like songs that are like just Check, straight did that. on the floor. Did all that stuff, and like this one, we were just going for one thing that we talked about when writing it was high concepts, like things that were just interesting, not like I'm in love. <laughs> but something more interesting than I'm in love, something, a, a different concept. Like, I'm in love with a girl. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Super, we're high we're getting somewhere, right? High concept. So exactly. we, we, wanted, we wrote most of this album um, ourselves, and so we wanted to be more real, more genuine, and I think it kind of shows up in this, uh, in this next album, so we're excited. And so you did the Snoop Dogg thing, maybe Snoop Lion. Next right on. Next. That's the reggae. obvious next step, step is Snoop Lion. <laughs> Snoop Lion. But so how do you guys pick? You, know, you, you write the majority of your own material, 
-hmm. It's hard. All of you do okay, it. Okay, listen. Four hardest part. That's the hardest part. How hardest many, part about what we do. How many songs as a whole did you have? We probably you wrote have to 50 songs from. for this album alone, and then there was 10 or 20 songs that were left over from the last two albums that we had written for. So we have. 60, 70 songs we have to listen to and narrow down and try and be honest about it's, what's yeah, best. It's paid to my insomnia helps a lot too. It just <laughs> it really is difficult about. because you don't ever want to offend anybody or like take something away from someone because we've been doing. But they're it all together. great songs. They're all great. It's just it's totally subjective. I might be like this one's cooler than that one. He might be like this one's cooler than that one. But so. imagine you know you and your you know three best friends there's four of you and each of you guys wrote ten songs but you can only pick you know six songs. I'd pick one of mine. I'll well, exactly. <laughs> exactly, you know, because you wrote that. It's, you know, it's, it means a lot. It, it becomes not something that kind of tears us up, but there's definitely kind of that, like, sibling rivalry. Like, well, then, why is yours better? Well, then... Yeah, well, well, mine's better because of this. But so but my question though. is, what happens to all of these songs that never actually make it on the <laughs> <laughs> Well, outside right. of that, um, we save them for other artists, and we save them for um, different projects, and, and then... If it's not good for us, it might be good for somebody yeah. else. And or just listening. Yeah. Or just listening. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the other thing, too, though. I mean, so what about any interest in doing solo careers? You know, totally. Yeah, that's, that's, like yeah. Separate? that's another yes, project. All four you know of you? what I mean? Yeah. Well, all well, of us, of course, are gonna, we're not going to just stop working after Big Time Rush, you know. Hopefully. Um, so after this, whether <laughs> yeah, it's film, TV, or music, all of us are going to continue down our own path. So anybody who decides to do music out of the bunch will hopefully have a bunch of songs that we didn't use for BTR that is kind of a start to their EP. Or, or maybe I call James and I'm like, dude, that one that you wrote, second album, I'm doing this thing now. I'd love to have this in a movie. You no know? problem. 30 grand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, you know, like brother. No, brother discount. No, 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 no well, discount. Kendall, no. you're actually part of another group. Yeah, I called, mean, called Heaven Drive, and so I mean, how do you how do you balance the two? Well, that was something that I did um, right like a year before Big Time Rush, and it, it started like on on MySpace, and it started getting a lot of plays, and then I booked Big Time Rush, and I was like, well, I mean, this is like an opportunity of a lifetime, and so I talked to Dustin, who's the other guy in the band, and he's like, dude. Go for it. Like, I would never say no to that. And so my whole life has changed since then. And I think after, I mean, who knows how much, how long Big Time Rush is going to go. But we all have things we want to do. Like, I'm sure Carlos is going to do his directing. And, I mean, I still write stuff. We write stuff together. It's really about the extent of it at this point. When is the last time anybody has mentioned MySpace? I just did. Bam. There you go. Killing it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Killing the game. Timberlake is trying to revamp it. It's true. I'm really oh, curious as to how that'll go. He's around. making it look cooler, that's for sure. I just, I just think people, now there's like a stigma attached to it, well, which is weird. Like, there was something else I, I, I just talked about. Uh, Kazaa. You remember Kazaa? Yeah. No. Oh, I remember Kazaa. Yeah, come on. What about you, young kid? No, no, I remember, remember Kazaa. And you would like download, <laughs> you know, stuff. and you illegal Whoa. songs. Oh, yeah. They were illegal. Oh, you were like, LimeWire? Right? Yeah. yeah. And then um, LimeWire. How yeah. about this one? I've got a question from Jacob Soberoff, one of our own hosts here. But he's been monitoring the comments, too. And I guess a lot of people are asking the same question. I want to see a song with Demi Lovato. Are you guys going to do one? That would be cool. I'd love to. Would she be just rad. released uh, her song, which Heart is attack. amazing. Yeah. That's a great song. It's cash. Shout out. Go download it if you haven't already. Right. All right. Tell us more about the tour too. Um, summer. Summer tour. Summer tour. Summer tour. Summer tour. We actually. Um, th the only thing that we know right now is that uh, we are going to be on stage singing songs for a lot of fans. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> we, no, no, seriously, we're giving you a lot. We're giving yeah. you a lot here. Okay. We don't know um, what's going to be behind us. Are we going we, international? Are we going to Europe? That, are we going that is the plan. The, South South good, uh, the plan is to visit all the Russians this 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 summer. This go around wherever all they the may reside. All but we're definitely going to start in in America. We're starting with our summer tour to be. You know, launched off here where we live, and then uh, after that, yeah, I mean, of there course. may even be some dancing. You know, I don't even and know. My singing, dance. yeah, any kind of camaraderie that you haven't hit yet that you really want to go to Australia, I, uh, Asia too. That, Asia, both of Asia. Them I feel like I feel like Asia. They just embrace music like hardcore. I think it'd be so much fun to go out there. I've, I've never been. I still be fun to play a show in Barcelona. Place. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Over, and, then, you know? and then and then hit the beach, right? Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Barcelona is a good. A good we have place. a band. We have a band goal. That we're, we're, we're trying to play a few places before um, we're finished because it's. Uh, we're trying to set a record. I don't necessarily want to talk about it because then someone. No, else you kind of have to. No, because that band is not on the road again. Right? Live, okay. All right, that band's playing again. Well, nobody's played in every single country. 
Continent. 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 Rather. Well, or country when you think about it. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, every single continent because it's it's not exactly. Fall Out Boy got close. Mm -hmm. Their their ex tour manager was our ex tour manager, and he told us these stories that was just incredible. But they the last place was Antarctica. That's right. How are you going to play in Antarctica? Well, check this out. They had to hire uh, what is it? C one thirty. C one thirty bomber from the Chilean government. They so still couldn't. So they literally were about to go. It was clear to go, and they got a call and said, "No, y'all have to perform <laughs> at the Kids Choice Awards." Yeah. That's how. <laughs> Powerful oh, no. kids' choices. <laughs> by the way, it was like two hundred grand around the thing. We're like, nah, we don't need it. Like, you're not gonna miss the kids' choice awards. Okay, yeah, like, so okay, yeah, the kids' back. choice awards superseded uh, setting world records. So for us, to go play for the science. So you Set guys are gonna try to play. You want to go play for the science? We're gonna go, and then they're gonna be like, you guys need to be at the kids' choice awards. <laughs> yeah, right. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Well, so we have one of the questions too that's coming in. Um, we've got a lot of commenters here that are from Argentina, that are from yeah. Chile, that are from all over the world. They want to know if any of you speak any foreign languages. Mm -hmm. um, not well, little bits uh, for me, but little yeah, we've, we've learned phrases on the road. Uh, German, we should start with German. Yeah, German. Let's uh, all throw out a German. Let's hear it. Du bist sehr schön. You are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ich liebe dich means I love you. <laughs> Hast du gut geschlafen? That's the one. They took no. all of mine. Uh, you know one. <laughs> Danke fürs Kommen. Thank Nach you for coming. Bitte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wo ist die Party? Yeah. Who's the party? <laughs> What's the party? That's a good one. Um, okay, okay. Which uh, spend some time in Germany. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not a big deal. No. <laughs> no Say it again. It's not order. All right. <laughs> Carlos and James are sitting here complimenting me, and I don't even know what you said. There, no, 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 no. He was trying to get you a drink. You want to join me. He was trying to get you a drink. I don't need to tell you some Portuguese. They're complimenting. I'm asking you a drink. Some Portuguese. Les melhores bundas são do Brasil. And that means that Brazilians have the best butts. Yeah, that they do. They do. The ladies are going to love that one. Okay. Any any other languages, little French? French. Je vous donne un baguette. Oh, here we go. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. That's hard. You need a. Mon mon voiture c'est très grand. I know that Cheers in Zulu is Oogie Wawa. Okay. Here we go. Any Wawa. Russian? Yeah. James. Kaktila. Kaktila. Just means. What's your Russian? I do speak Russian, so I had to test you. As we all like James. Yeah, I don't know anything else. That's that's why we need to be like that on this show. Visit some other countries. I can speak like a Russian. All right, gentlemen, we have some people that are very excited to speak with you okay. and ask you some questions. Oh, I don't want to make them wait any longer. She is. So these are some, some, we've got some Russia fans. What can I say? Big time Russia fans. Hey, hey. People hang out. We've got Kristen Sulin, who's in Barrio, Ohio. Hello. Uh, Martha Donay, Chatsworth, Hello. Georgia. Martha. Hello. Martha. Martha and Yara Zar, who's hey. in Manassas, Virginia. Hey, girls. Virginia. Hello. Thanks for being here, ladies. Um, Kristen, why don't we start with you? Thanks Do you have, have any questions? With me? Yeah, go ahead. We're starting with me? Yes, we're starting with you. Okay. No oh, pressure. Sorry. Don't mess up. We're just joking. We're just joking. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Well, I have a funny question I want to start with. We have a funny it's answer, a good probably. One. If, uh, I hope so. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, if, <laughs> If Big Time Rush was in a beauty pageant, what would each of your talents be, and then who would win the whole thing? Oh, okay. wow. Okay. wow. Can anybody Ooh. do the, the play like Miss Congeniality? Are you know what, that matches? was the first thing that came to mind. No, I cannot. I can get one tone going, yeah. but not nearly as well as she can. Oh, the what glasses? if you can do it with this yeah. thing? I don't know, what would a... Uh, it has to be glass. Yeah, it has to be glass, has to be glass. yeah. Wrong, can't Talent do that. would be... Um, I guess we can't use singing, right? No. That's kind of out of it. Um, <laughs> That'd be a little unfair. Eyebrow, I can, do, uh, good eyebrow control. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you'd win the beauty pageant. <laughs> yeah, but, no, no. I don't oh, know if you'd be a nice no, guy. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, seriously, seriously. I do not believe You know what? I can fly a mini, a mini, uh, a mini. A, a mini, million helicopter. A mini, heli a mini helicopter. A little, little guy can fly. Well, that's cool. I'm going to go and go with mine, which is I can fill a real life-size helicopter. <laughs> <Did that. laughs> In the UK, so let me just put that out there. I, James? I, talent for the beauty pageant? Yeah. Just being beautiful. I would just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so James wins. Come on. But she goes, no, 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 no. Uh, She's like, no, that's not great. Yeah, I don't think, was that a sufficient enough answer? Yeah, so Logan wins that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess you get to stand there so. and be beautiful. How do you fly a <laughs> helicopter in the beauty pageant, though? I don't think that's applicable. Yeah, no, it's I would be. It's you know what? I, I okay, can, great. We be on his side, huh? Insane. Thanks. I'm good Sorry. at I'm good at uh, like wood. I'm good at making like birdhouses. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Car a little carpenter. That's carpentry. Right. So <laughs> let's move on to uh, yeah, let's to, go to the Martha. Next one. Martha, do you She's have, like, okay, do let's you have move a question? On from this question. Totally. Yeah. Um. Hey, Kendall. Er, Hi, Martha. 
I actually got to talk to you a little bit. Uh, a few weeks I know. Ago. I remember you. Valentine's yeah. Day. Awesome. Um, but I have a question. So, do you have any traditions like before every concert that y'all <laughs> usually do? We have traditions. quite a few traditions we do. We definitely have a dance party in the dressing room before every show. Yeah. Listen to some dubstep. To, uh, there's a, a group called Knife Party. It has a song called Sleaze. And the whole Until thing is called they kick, kick us, us out. Until they kick us That's out. We do. People move your feet. Like so basically this. it's just like, you yeah. know, go crazy. It's a huge dance party. And the whole, the whole uh, band and everybody. Security kind of flashes dance. lights. Right. Which, you know what, hold on. This just reminded me of a really cool thing that I've, I've never saw a video of. Mm. But they have all these flashlights. Mm. And one night in Peru... Kind of yeah. a little off topic, but in Peru, all the lights shut off during the oh, yeah. show. Oh. So, so we're in the dark. We're like, what do we do? But the sound is still going. So it was like, like the uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Except so, in Peru. So our security throws us these flashlights. So we're with like flashlights, like, gotta live Singing, it, like, I was like, who wants to tell ghost stories now? <laughs> it was awesome. Though, you didn't see it because the video was all black, but you know yeah. what I mean? You couldn't dark, see anything. Right. But we did a whole song with flashlights. Well, is that the, yeah. I mean, what's, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? That might be the one of the weirdest things, yeah. There was um, one we're all like shining on James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when somebody had a solo, we'd all both take our flashlights and. Okay, the lights going light out was the craziest thing. Well, we were minutes away from canceling the show that. because of the thunderstorm. That we was... actually stopped the show in the, uh, in the middle of the show because there was th thunder and lightning, and half the crowd left because they're afraid of getting electrocuted. But then we still it was had a white look. So <laughs> <laughs> the rain and the, the whole like white clothes and we're getting yeah, no so black underwear. We're showing. What about fan wise? Is there anything that's the craziest thing that a fan has ever done for you? Really embarrassed you maybe? I tried to dress up in, was it Chile or was it Argentina? No, Mexico City. Oh, Mexico City, yeah. You thought it'd be a great idea to put on a hood and go into the crowd. <laughs> that was, um, it, it was a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. How did that turn out for you? It didn't last very I long. I think I was like, I think half of my clothes were ripped off. Yeah, he, he came back <laughs> naked. I was like, they have a happened? lot of energy, but I came back like somewhat half naked and I was kind of freaked out. It was nuts and I was like, I probably will just maybe keep it backstage now. <laughs> But it was all right, fun. I can't break all the ladies' hearts here, uh, you know. But I, I need to ask you the question. Tell us about your. We need to know about the personal lives. We need to know about girlfriends. Aww. Totally cool. Yeah. What's it's going all on? Good. Who's single? Who's available? Well, Isn't that the same thing. Being single. Well, available? I'll go first. I'm single. <laughs> so, are you also available? I am available. Okay. Well, not really because I'm working all the time, but I'm available to <laughs> He's talk. He's closed to off and emotionally. Hang out with. <laughs> Single and available as well, so we'll get. Are those you are you looking for love? Let's put it that way. Yeah, I mean it's hard with our schedules, honestly. It's hard with our schedules, but I've kind of found out that whenever you don't look for it, that's whenever you find it. You know. Yeah. So. Well, I found it. <laughs> 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 I found it, and I'm happy, and I'm taken, and um, yeah. not available. I guess that's 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 the. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> that's me. There you go. So sorry, ladies. No, but it's means. okay. You know what? I, I got plenty of love to give. I just. Got that, cool. that, that special He just love. gives it mostly to one person. Yeah. But I feel you. No, I was... That's my man right here. <laughs> well, James, yeah, I've got a comment here from... Um, it says, James, is it true that Halston and you broke up? That's not true. What? No, what? It's not, what? It's not Are you true. serious? No. What happened, bro? I, I got Seriously, that's not true. I got a caller. <laughs> um, that would be one of those things called a, a rumor that's uh. incorrect, a lie, if you will. But no, we're, <laughs> we're great. We're still together. You, you can't know? handle the truth. Yeah. So let's just make this clear. Uh, single, single and ready to meet. <laughs> taken, but no. taken but not mistaken. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that means. No, I'm not, sure, I'm what not means. sure what that one means either. But okay. taken, oh, no. taken, but he's still. All right. Well, speaking. at least yeah, you know, we've made it really easy. Oh, man. So you no. guys back there. You How about you? You didn't tell us about you. This this interview isn't about me. Oh, hey, oh, oh hey, oh. here. Okay. <laughs> we've got a video comment as well from one of your fans. So I'm gonna play this right now. It's, Let's check it out. Oh, is it not going to play? It's not going to play. I think it maybe is not going to play on my computer right now. I'm technically Great. You know challenged. computers. I told no. you guys. Oh, it's, cool. it's, 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 it's uh, Christopher Walken. Oh, if you guys wanted to see that video, you're, you're not going to. <laughs> yeah, that was just a... I am technically challenged, unfortunely, so that one's not going to happen. It doesn't matter right this uh, very second. how far into the future we get, that's always going to happen. So. All right, more questions from, from the fans. This is, you know, <laughs> ultimately, this is bring about it, them. They really want to hear yeah, what you have to it. say. So this one says, this is for Logan. What is the best piece of advice that you've ever given? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Um, I was given this, I think, by my parents. Um, but it's basically take time with everything that you do, um, which is the most important thing if you want to make anything special. Oh, here we go. I can talk right <laughs> dude, dude, make it. Yeah, right? Go for it. Here's what I have to say to you. No, if you want to make anything special, then take time with it, and, uh, and you got to keep on going, honestly. I, it come, sometimes becomes easy to... What are you doing, man? Just, <laughs> it's such a nice close-up. He's creeping in well, on your advice, Colin. Logan, <laughs> what, if, what if it's a race? 
What take your it, time with that race. You know, take yeah? your time. The turtle did that. Take your time preparing. Didn't, didn't, didn't the turtle win? Didn't the turtle win? He at the did very take the time. There we go. No, he's still in. He's still he in Kendall's just, backyard. Still, <laughs> that's true. No, Kendall has a turtle. Uh, so yeah, take time and um, and as long as you entertain yourself and you keep on doing things that are new for you, then you're gonna be good. Yeah, you're better off. Are you starting an advice column online? So we're we can. Maybe it's post live uh, slash it's, Logan Henderson advice. No, we're gonna call it Logan's Logic. Okay, Logan's oh, just made it up bad. right there. That's catchy. Wow, we're and someone bad. just created a Twitter. So oh, right. Logan's Logic. <laughs> Logan'slogic.com Logan's Logic. got that made. <laughs> That's going to be funny. All right, I now I've got, a, I got a question for Kendall. Yay. This one comes from KT Love. Says, okay. question for Kendall. Do you like country music? And if so, what artists in particular? Winky face. Um, face. Don't hate on country music. No, I love, I grew up, I was in, grew up in Kansas. So yeah. I, 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 love, I, I automatically like country music. Um, there's a part of me that always loves it. But Diamond Rio, one of my favorite songs is Beautiful Mess. You guys know that what song? What a beautiful mess. What a beautiful mess I'm in. Mean. Yeah, Such I love a that great song. song. Yeah. Good. That's oh, one of my favorites. Garth Brooks. I love Garth Brooks. Come on, that's like Rascal Dirt. Flats. That's, I've been stuck on Rascal Flats recently. I think Garth Brooks brought playing arena shows in. I mean, honestly, he kind of perfected the arena show. And the all the mics that we use, these uh, ones that come across right here, it was sort of his invention. Interesting fact, yeah, though, because cool. he always had the guitar, so he needed the. Yeah. Mike, so they didn't really have well, those around. Well, thank you, Garth so, Brooks. You're welcome, Justin Bieber. Thank you, Garth. Thank you're thank you're you welcome, Garth. Justin Bieber. <laughs> All right, there you go. We have another question um, from Martha, too. Let's get back to her. Martha, you're Hi, still Martha. here. Thanks for waiting. Hi, Martha. Hey, did you, did you hear my last question? I don't know. About the tradition? Yes, we did. We okay. did. All right. And also have, um, so do you have any plans on maybe going into, like, movie acting, like, later on, along with, like, the singing careers and stuff? Without a doubt, absolutely. Good question. Yeah, I think that would probably be the next uh, next step after a Big Time Rush. Yeah. Awesome. If yeah, not, if not the Big Time Management Group that we're gonna, <laughs> that we're gonna start do. up, that'll be one project. But yeah. uh, I know we all love yeah. music, and some of us that'll be our first step. I think me in particular, I want to do film after BTR. So yeah. for sure. Yeah, y'all are Is great it at acting. Prefer? So. You know, I mean, do, do you, you ever say I like acting more than I like music today? It or? changes. You know, I I never I never uh, saw myself directing, or, and then it kind of evolved this past like year and a half. So it's like next year I could want to raise reptiles. It's like you, you just, you, <laughs> you, you, yeah, it's you, not a very funny. profitable business raising reptiles, <laughs> but, but still actually, somebody's got to do it. For the somebody's got to do it. Raising. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know. You know, yeah, obviously all of us love both sides of it. And uh, frankly, I've been thinking about it a lot recently. I think that I want to do film. I always want to keep writing, and I think music will be a part of that. But I think you really need, although we're so lucky to do both at the same time with decide. Big Time Rush, you need to pick one and focus on it. If yeah. you want to be great at something, you need to focus on that. So I want to be a great actor. I want to focus on film and TV. Yep. All right, so don't spread yourself too thin, but... You, take, take advantage you, of what you're best at or what you can. think you're going to have the best chance at is what I And think. we've been pretty spread thin with BTR. So I think after all that, we've had so much experience in different realms with, you know, music and TV and film that you kind of get to choose. We've had so yeah, much luckily, of, all know. four of us will be able to kind of pick what we want to do, pick yeah. and choose. I can't imagine having, like, four weeks off. They're going to be like, okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks exists. for doing the project. We're going to be like, oh, right. <laughs> what do we do now? How do you guys relax? You know what I mean? What do you do in your downtime if you ever find yourself actually having some downtime? Snowboard trips, and that needs to happen actually pretty soon. Yeah. I have, I have four free tickets to Big Bear, by the way. Okay, let's do that. In my car. Don't let me forget. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Don't let me forget one in my car. So what date and time oh, will you be uh, at Bear Mountain? Well, what time are you available? <laughs> uh, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, you guys, there's four tickets. So one, two, she's three, not four. asking for her. She's asking for everybody's Yeah, I'm just saying, like, there's going to be a lot of people going to Big Bear. I, I meant uh, Whistler. Yeah, we'll be. <laughs> We're going to Canada. Free tickets to Whistler. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. No. Yeah, um, you know. MBD. Yeah. All right, another, another personal question. Carlos, I've got one of your tweets pulled uh -oh. up here. Hitting Personal. the gym, and you've got a picture posted on Instagram, and so we need <laughs> oh, to know. Oh, great! Post a selfie. How you guys? Uh, is it a selfie? No. How you guys What'd stay you fit? This one is more just you know a lot of weights. Who's There's in a lot picture? better ones than that? A lot of weights, weights bra. Is that James in there? Who is that? You guys Humpin. do a little workout. Pumping iron. John. Oh no, that's me, and my brother, Javi. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, okay, so, okay. So my brother Javi, amazing, amazing kid. He he was literally like 250 pounds, and like right when I started, uh, what, like four years ago, yeah. he was just like so down on himself, literally turned himself around. He looks great now. Been, been working out like crazy, and it's cool how like, he's kind of inspired me to like, you know, start working out again, and James kind of did that with, I mean, I think Logan and I saw that James was like, 
I mean, you know, Mr. Like, I was like, man, well, I, I got to start getting, you know, some like muscles going. So last summer, <laughs> again, I was like, yeah. well, uh, I have quite say, large muscles. I don't know if you can. Kendall's still looking for that inspiration. It was uh, keeping my energy up and keeping healthy on tour, and so I think that's yeah. kind of why we started it. Um, so that's what cool. Because so, what's the, what is the workout routine? You guys oh, like, what is the actual workout routine? Yeah. Well, yeah, so, you know, we can't really tell you about that. <laughs> that's an industry <laughs> secret. That's a secret. secret. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you want to look at this good. You know? I mean, <laughs> honestly, the secret is there's no secret. It's just doing it. It's just you know eating healthy and exercising. It doesn't really matter. There's no one exercise that's going to make you look amazing. It's sticking with it. I was going to say consist. Yeah. Con you know the, You know all those like those, those those diet commercials where they're like, I lost this this much weight with no working out. It's like that's no, wrong. No. If you did, it's unhealthy. That is so wrong. Yeah. Like it's a good diet. And now my liver's exercise. dead. But <laughs> having a James though has been awesome because he goes to the gym. having a James. <laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> well, we, we, having we, a we, James. We go to the gym James and we're like, like okay, yeah, trainer. let's do some abs. James will do like a hundred. So you're like, He's like a marine. Well, if James is a hundred, I gotta at least do like sixty. Very vocal in the gym. You know, like you kind of have to. See, I was doing 60. too much work being like the group, group trainer. James, no, but no? see, that's like a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's yeah, yeah. Like not that extreme, but we did he definitely voted. He definitely motivates. What do you listen to when you go to the gym? Like, what's your pump up? I think Celine Dion is what. <laughs> you know, when you're that energetic all the time, you need calming music. Exactly. Celine, Celine's motivational to me. Shade. She's a fantastic. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything, anything uplifting. One thing I don't like though is listening to headphones when the gym's already blasting music. True. So I only really listen when I work out by myself. When you're with people though, it's better to talk. Yeah. I'm not really into what the gyms have been playing because they play like top, you know, top 40. It's like when I'm pumping iron, I don't want to be hearing "Call Me Maybe." I'm just saying. <laughs> How like, about Wild for the Night? Hey, a little, I just a little met Skrillex, you. a little ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is crazy. Definitely. It's like not very good motivational <laughs> music. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wind it down oh, here in a moment. Oh, oh. James, he's got us wound up. I've got yeah, I've got one of your tweets. Rushers, two ways to vote. If we go back to the Kids Choice Awards for a moment here, mm. hashtag KCA, hashtag vote both. We are. Or you can hit up this link to go directly to the Nick website. So you know, what do you say to people? What's your plea to get them to vote for you? Vote, vote, vote. Dude, we have the best it. fans in the world. Same. You guys voted for us and we won last year for Shut, music. Shut <laughs> Music right group, hey, you guys keep voting. You're already doing amazing for us. We're honored to be in the category, but guess what? We know we can win because we have you. So keep it up, keep this voting. They're like doing Uncle the Zoom Sam. and it's very dramatic. We want you <laughs> to vote for us. KCAs and Carlos. Thank you. Seriously, <laughs> we're, so, we're so grateful that was to, have, yeah. to have. I, so, I like the zoom in. I noticed. He uh, wants very you. dramatic. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. It's did a you get some tips from then. the president? I heard you guys hung out with the Obamas. We did. did we're close friends. You know, Obama. we hang out occasionally, four <laughs> times maybe. I frequently exactly. call him on the phone. <laughs> no, but you did get to spend a little yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. We know. We really have. We've been so lucky to meet him several times. We even played a concert for the Worldwide Day of Play right in front of the White House for right. fifty thousand people. Which and is we amazing. did a small charity uh, that I'm not small, but a charity, a small little. It was a. It was. Mm -hmm. We did a performance the at the first annual Kids State Dinner. Yes. And Fun little fact. Yeah. That was the first time that people sat on the floor. For the, the state dinner, because you got all the kids to come up in front of the stage. It was like stage. a campfire. You know, normally yeah. it's very like, oh, where's the White House? But it was like, we're like, sit on the floor. That's what you're talking whenever you go to the White House. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, you get invited to the White House and you're told to sit on the floor. No, no we, we, <laughs> we got the kids to come and sit on the floor in front of the stage. Gotcha, so gotcha. We sat on stools. All right, good. You, you lighten I don't actually call bit. the president, by the way. We, we don't talk on the phone. What so. are you guys talking about? Oh, I, I was, I was so <laughs> Logan's like, actually, no, his gold retriever just had puppies. That's so weird. He just texted <laughs> me. I left my jacket at his I know, house. he's naming one of them James. That's weird. <laughs> oh, I'll get back to you later, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, first of all, Kristen and Martha, <laughs> want to thank you so much for joining. <laughs> I think we may have lost Martha. Oh, there you are. No, awesome. Uh, we what about our third friend there? Did we, lose our, we lost our third we friend. We lost our third friend. We lost Yara. I will shout outs to Apologies. you. I'm sorry Still love you. that they lost you. If you had a question, we would have answered, and it would have been great. But we so, may have covered it. We covered a lot of stuff. Well, stuff. let's. Yeah, anyway, I think you guys should you, also right? give a shout out to the more than almost. It's getting close to seven thousand comments that have been left. Yeah, yeah Russia. Shout out for all the comments. Exactly. The rushers are definitely. I'm sure, there was probably some up. interesting ones in there too. There's, they're moving so fast. Yeah. I can hardly follow them. Uh, that's that's the truth there. I want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for having it's us. It's been a pleasure. And yeah, yeah we'll come back fun. again. Yes, thanks for having well, us. Next time, give me some more dirt. Huff post you know? live. How do you wrap up this thing? Do you go and <laughs> Huff post cut. Live. That's it. And Huff post live. We're I guess done. That's what they say, yeah, right? Guys. Isn't that, that's a wrap. Cut. And cut. We're, We're finished. Cutting. Moving We're on. Done. No so more. There's always more coming up at Huff okay. post live. <laughs> Where's some water? Maybe I should get some water.